Smith, and today we're going to talk about shoes. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to go back and watch my previous videos. The lookbook for the winter fall. Uh, seven great outfits, and I'm pretty sure if you're a guy, you're going to like them. Um, well, let's get into it. Okay, so being the man that I am, um, I feel like a dude can't have too many pairs of shoes. You know, for a long time, it's always been women who have 80 pairs, 90 pairs, 100 pairs, and dudes have like three to four, and that's a dress shoe and a sneaker and maybe some flip-flops. To me, a guy should have a diverse collection. A guy should have a multitude of shoes because you never know what type of shoe you need for whatever event that you're going to. So, me being the guy that I am, you know, I collected a bunch of different shoes and I'm still collecting. I don't claim to have the biggest size collection. I don't claim to have the best sneakers, anything like that. I'm constantly adding to it because I feel like you can never have enough. One day, I might want to wear a neon green shoe. And if I don't have a neon green shoe, then I'm SOL. I might want to wear a yellow shoe. You know, it, it just depends on the mood that I'm in and the outfit that I'm going for. So when I started my collection, you can see a little bit on the table now. And right now, I'm probably at about 70, 75 pairs of shoes, something like that. But I'm going to go over the shoes that I consistently wear and then the shoes that I think that, as a man, you probably should own or, or look look into getting to. You know what I'm saying? Something, something that adds a little bit of diversity to your closet. So to start this off, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the dress shoes first, and then we'll talk about the sneakers. So my favorite dress shoe... And I know you guys know this shoe. Everybody probably has a pair of these shoes. But my favorite dress shoe, man, is the brown cap toe. The brown cap toe is a solid classic. And this one has a bit of brogan on it. And you know, there's probably a few dudes who aren't fans of brogan. But man, for me, any Oxford I get is going to have brogan. I'm not really a fan of the plain Oxford. I really love the embroidery that goes along with the build of the shoe. And you know... Just looking at this shoe, man, I compare this with so many different outfits. Like the outfit I have on is a chambray top with uh, a pair of khakis. And I can easily throw this on because, you know, it'll add some, some business casual flair to it. You know, at the same time, don't get me wrong, with the chambray top and the khakis, I can easily throw in a pair of my favorite Vans and drop it down a little bit. But this shoe right here, always going to be a classic, man. This is from Johnson & Murphy. And one of my best buys, honestly, I got this discounted as well. I don't, I don't really remember how much I paid for it, but no, this, this shoe is definitely, definitely one of my go-tos when I'm dressing up. Stand consistent with it. Um, this right here, this is my first dress shoe ever, man. This right here, this is my baby. You know, I've changed the laces so many times. And that's the great thing about Oxfords. You can change the lace to whatever color you want. And believe me. I have a collection of different color laces because I never know what type of tie I'm going to wear. I never know what type of belt I'm going to wear. So I always have different laces to go with my dress shoes. But this is my first dress shoe. I broke wingtip, man. And man, I wear this thing up and down. I wear this with jeans. I wear this with slacks. I wear this with chinos. I wear this thing up and down. I mean, I can wear this thing, you know, formally. Or, you know, if I'm, I'm just going out with the guys, I might throw the wingtips on. Because it's so classic. I've had these for some years now. But you know, with a little bit of TLC, you know, you keep these bad boys going. And I'm probably going to keep these going for a few more years because, I mean, I love these bad boys. So definitely if you need some wingtips, I'll go ahead and cop some. These came from Kohan, one of my top favorite stores, man. Kohan always has the deals. They always have the shoes that I'm looking for, man. I just, I love Kohan, man. So let's talk about colored Oxfords for a second, man. Um, these right here, bro. These, man, there's so much I can say about them. Um, blue, the navy blue. And you know, sometimes I get tired of the brown and black combo. Sometimes I want to spice it up with the with a blue. I got a red Oxford too that I love to wear as well. But this blue, man, this blue adds a little bit of flair because I could wear, you know, a monotone suit and I can add in this blue for the kicker, you know what I'm saying? Just the same way with my, my brown Oxfords, I can throw on a blue and match it with a blue tie, but if I really wanna add some flair, I can throw on my blue Oxfords 
And, you know, that just that just sizes up the outfit. You know, it actually pulls it all together and makes the outfit look more neat, more more um, more um dapper, if you want to say. Uh, these are one of my favorite shoes. And, of course, I keep the shoe tree in them. Definitely got to keep your shoes in mint condition. Um, this is also another pickup from Johnson & Murphy. Johnson & Murphy got them shoes, man, just like Kohan. Johnson & Murphy always got them shoes, and I'm, I'm a big fan of them as well, especially when it comes to getting my wingtips. So moving it on to the loafers, um, man, this is my gray loafer, and my gray loafer, this baby's got some wear, you know? I think I first wore this in Vegas, and man, I was looking, I was looking styling and profiling, you know? I feel like the loafer, man, I feel like the loafer is so underrated. You know, dudes always say, oh, the, uh, the, the uh, loafer, it can't be dressed up too much. Man, that's a lie. Honestly, I can dress these bad boys up and be suave. And it's just depending on the loafer you get. I mean, if you get like a super casual loafer, obviously you can't dress it up. But this bad boy with the suede, it just, I don't know, it brings some flair to the outfit. And I be feeling like Ric Flair when I throw these on. Like, that's the flair. That's the suave. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be feeling good when I throw these on. You know, and this, these, these bad boys going to be with me for a while. This is, this is another shoe from Johnson & Murphy. When I tell you I get everything from there, that's just... That's just fat. Um, hopping into this bad boy. I don't wear these that often, but I mean, you should have a brown loafer. This is the casualness I was talking about. So, these came from ASOS. Man, they ran me probably about 20 bucks. And I mean, they're solid. This is a cool driver I could throw on anytime. I mean, I could wear these on a bummy day. You know, just some joggers and a t-shirt. Throw the loafers on. I'm not feeling like tying my shoes. You know, I get lazy. Everybody gets lazy. So, you know what I'm saying? If I don't feel like tying my shoes that day, man, I might as well throw on my loafers, you know? Kick it with these on. But this is a good casual loafer, man. It's, it's really comfortable. I definitely, definitely shout out to ASOS for these because these, these will probably be with me for a little bit too. All right. So, enough about my dress shoes and my loafers. Let's jump into the boots. Dude, if you don't have boots and you don't have a Chelsea boot, something like that, you're really slacking because Chelsea boots have been it for a while now. And me, I'm a big fan of Chelsea boots. My girlfriend hates them, honestly. She, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but she just hates them. And, you know, it's because I got clown feet when I wear them. But man, these things are rad, bro. Like, how do you not, how do you not cop the Chelsea boots, man? Just look at these bad boys. You know, they got the embroidery on it, the feather. You know, I wear these. Last time I wore these, I wore them in a streetwear outfit, you know, with the jean jacket. Um, I'll post the image, too, and let you guys see. It was actually in my lookbook, so check that out, because I killed it with these Chelsea boots. Honestly, I did. And then I got the brown as well, so, you know, I got the black and brown combo. And these ones I wore with a little bit more up look. You know, I had the sweater on and whatnot. That's in the lookbook, too, so definitely look for that. But, um... These bad boys definitely came from Johnson & Murphy as well. The blacks came from ASOS, but the brown ones came from Johnson & Murphy. And I've had these for a little bit now. And they definitely, they definitely been adding some, some to my outfit. You know, I love them. I love both Chelsea boots. Honestly, I mean, they, they're both dope. I mean, come on. Um, another boot. Another boot, man, another boot that I would definitely recommend is like a wingtip boot. Because, like, I don't know if you, you guys probably know this. I'm a, I'm a big fan of wingtip, and even when it comes to my boots, man, I love wingtip. I got this. Don't, don't, don't laugh, but I got this from Groupon, surprisingly. I was literally on Groupon just searching for stuff, and these popped up. And I was like, man, why not? You know, they cost me like 30 bucks. And they're pretty all right. I mean, they, they, they get the job done. They're really dope looking. They have that dapper fill effect. Um, they remind me of these boots I have that are from, I think, Taff. Taff is uh, a little bit more expensive, obviously, but they remind me of those. And I mean, they're still really good. You know, that wingtip with the broken is something that I really, I really mess with. It's honestly a really dope shoe. I like it. Uh, so if you don't got boots, you don't got Chelsea boots or like a wingtip boot, even just a normal boot. You know, you're really slacking because boots in the wintertime or the fall time, they really add something, something to your outfit. So you guys definitely need to hop on that wave. Let's hop into the next All right, thing. So next thing we're talking about is going to be my sneakers. 
And like I said, you know, for this video, I kind of grabbed everything that I traditionally wear. Um, I have a lot more stuff, and maybe I'll make a video with everything. But, you know, this is my second video, so I'm just doing like a really quick run through. Um, so I brought out everything that I'm really, really feeling right now in my dress game. So to start off is these bad boys right here. These are one of my favorite pairs of Vans. And it's crazy because, you know, at first look, you might be like, oh, those are childish, man. But I mean, like, I don't know. I'm a sucker for shoes that are different because I have so many. You get tired of buying, you know, the basics. You start trying to find new things. And these really went well with my trench coat look. You know, I threw on uh, the blue trench coat and I added these to them. And it was like a streetwear look. Like, it wasn't so much dapper, but more so streetwear. And I'll definitely add a pic of that. It's not in my last video, but it is on my Instagram. And it was a dope look because of the, I think, the combination of the shoe. It was more like a, a blend in colors because the blue up top is a little bit darker. But it blends into that light blue. So, you have to check that out. But... Really, really dope bands for me. This is something that I really, I really think is is dope. I don't know, I don't know. You guys may not like it. I don't know. I'm feeling it though. Um, another one of my top fave shoes in my collection that I have. It's probably gonna be these neon pinks here, bro. Um, these are from New Balance, and it's crazy. I don't know. They're kind of dirty, and I only worn them one time. I worn them once, man. But I got these off a of whim. So I was thinking about a new outfit, and I don't know, I was like, man, I want to do something different. And I found these on Nordstrom. Well, original price was like $130. I paid $20 for these. Got them in two-day shipping and everything, man. I don't know, they're really comfortable. They're the 247s. Usually I'm a 574 guy, but I don't know, something about these stuck out. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to get these. I'm going to have to get these because these are dope. But everybody's liked them so far. I had, I had a fit with them and everything, and everyone's liked them. I mean, they're... They're incredible. If you don't have New Balances, I'm not going to tell you to go get them. But I would say if you want a wearable sneaker that's kind of like a lifestyle sneaker, New Balance is it. New Balance has some really good lifestyle sneakers. And I think I think their 574 collection and 247 collection are definitely things that you should look into. Um, next up is my Adidas Human Races. Man, I got these in Vegas. And this is the first time I bought a human race. Is I wasn't, honestly, two years ago, I wasn't a sneaker guy. I had a collection of Oxfords. I had a super big collection of Oxfords. And I started thinking to myself, you know, my friends told me, hey, bro, why don't you do both? And that's something I, don't, I notice dudes don't do. They either stick to one or they stick to the other. And me, I was like, you know what? I can do both. I can do streetwear and I can do dapper. I can do both. And I can show people how to do both. I can show people how to do, you know, a, a diverse collection these bad boys it's probably the start of it all honestly because i saw these and i didn't know nothing about human races honestly i wasn't a sneaker guy at first when i saw these man i saw the inside with like the the uh, kidneys colon had to buy them got them from barney's man i had to buy them i honestly had to buy them they they just i don't know it's just like this sneaker it's like a better version of the NM NMD. And trust me, the NMDs are dope. I think the human races are better. This is the red one. Um, man, it's solid. It's solid. So definitely, if you if you fill in Adidas and you like the NMD, cop the human races, man. You can't go wrong, honestly. You can't go wrong with the shoe. Same thing can be said for the yellow pair. The yellow pair, man. I don't know why people love this shoe so much. I don't know, I don't know why I love it, you know. Um, I caught these bad boys and I was just like, man, this shoe is solid. This shoe is solid, honestly. I have one fit with these and, man, I killed it with this. I killed it with this because this this shoe, no, I'm sorry, I lied. I have two fits with this, but the second fit is way better. Because I paired it with this yellow uh, jacket and whatnot. Man, it's dope. It's incredibly dope. But yeah, this shoe is dope, man. My human races... I'm going to start adding more because I'm a big fan of the human races. I'm a big fan of what Pharrell is doing. The human race is definitely a sneaker. I think any dude should cop. I mean, they're, they're really versatile. You know, the way you can rock them. You can rock them right now. I mean, I rock this with a fall look. I have that one with a summer look. I have the red and yellow right now. I'm thinking of adding um, um, some more in. If you guys got any ideas I can add in, just let me know. 
Um, my next sneaker is going to be these Nick Diesel shoes. Man, I have nothing by Diesel. I've never owned anything by Diesel. I have no sneakers from Diesel but this one. And the reason I got this one, I went into um, Saks. And I was looking for something, bro. And I, I couldn't find it. Dude ended up showing me these Diesels. I ran me about 220 or something like that. Bro, these shoes are solid. Most comfortable shoe I've ever had on in my life. It's similar to like how the Yeezy feels, like on the inside, like without the boost or whatnot. And I, I, I'm not joking with you when I say that. Like, you might be like, oh no, the Yeezys can't be replicated. But no, the Diesel does feel good. The Diesel feels good. It's definitely a shoe I would say uh, look at. If you don't know anything about Diesel, I don't know much about them. But I will say um, some of the shoes are dope. And I'm thinking about going to get me another pair of Diesels uh, here soon. Um, back to my Adidas. Yeah, I do got a lot of Adidas, bro. And I got some I didn't even add in, but it's whatever. Um, my tubulars. So this is the inexpensive version of, like, everything else. Yeezy, AMD, Human Races. This is, like, the inexpensive version. And these are fire, bro. The burgundy. It's crazy because this wasn't even the original color I wanted. I wanted that, um, like, white white blackish one or whatever whatnot and they gave me two left feet so i ended up replacing it with the burgundy but the burgundy is solid bro i'm not gonna hate on it uh it still comes with like you know the inside the three stripes and then you know what i'm saying um the, it, it's really comfortable it's definitely comfortable i wear this with my burgundy pants and the tee or whatnot it's definitely good for streetwear definitely good um so up top, you see my Jordans. I have these here. I have a small foot. So you might be saying, how'd you get the grade schools? I got a small foot, man. And I told you, I look for anything that I may not have. And these grade school, these are the, uh, it's like moon gray or something like that, man. But these right here, I'm not a fan of low tops. But when I got these, I was astounded, man. I was like, man, the colorway. And I've seen dudes that like them. I've seen guys not like them. But me, nah, I'm a big fan of these. Honestly, I'm a very big fan of these. These are these are dope. These are definitely dope. Definitely dope. Um, I definitely recommend low top 11s. Uh, get a good pair, though, because some of them can be ugly, but get a good pair. Same thing with these. This is still another grade school color. And um, I want to show y'all. I probably won't show you in this video. But I want to show you the off-white ones I got, which are dope. But I'm a fan of ones, and I only have two pairs. But I need to get more ones. I've been slacking on ones, but I've been a big fan of ones. But this color right here, I'm showing you this color now because of it's a different color. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of similar to the burgundy I had, but like like a purple burgundy or whatnot. And this 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 right here adds some complexity to your dress game because you can always go with a, a solid monotone color. Like I can dress up a blue I can dress for red. You grab me something like this, you know what I'm saying? Like a one that has a multitude of colors. Not even a one, it can be any sneaker. And then you dress that up. And you'll see how fire the outfit looks. This is one thing I will tell dudes. After your shoe collection starts to take off, look for colors you don't have. Look for colors that no one else has. Don't be afraid to dress dress anything, you know what I'm saying? My sneaker collection has a multitude of colors. My, my shoe collection in general has a multitude of colors because any outfit could have any color at any given time. Um, my last set of shoes that I want to show you guys is uh, my, my luxury shoes. And I'm a big fan of red bottoms. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of people probably can't afford to get red bottoms and that's fine. I just want to share it with you guys because these are shoes that if you can't afford... I would definitely recommend getting. Some people may not like them. Some people may, may, may maybe so. I don't know. Um, let's get into it though. So my all-time favorite that I copped. This red bottom right here. Um, I, why can't I remember the name? I can't remember the name because I have a, a different nickname for it. I call this the red bottom fours. If you look at it, it's like a Jordan 4, right? Like an expensive Jordan 4. I call this the red bottom fours. Man, I got these... I want to say in Paris, maybe I got these or maybe right after Paris, but man, these are, these are cold. 
I won them a few times. I gotta fit in them just now on Instagram too. I won them a few times and man, they held they held up really nice. They're really good for the price as well. They weren't they were like maybe nine hundred dollars or so, or something like that. But no, the red bottom fours, man. If you're a fan of like that chunky shoe, this right here is something you'll probably want to get because it's a more sleek version of the chunky. It's not so like obtuse. You know what I'm saying? It's more sleek. Like I said, it's like the red bottom four. You know what I'm saying? So it adds like a sleek appeal to your to your shoe game. I'm not a fan of the really big chunky shoes, but I'm a fan of something like this because it's sleek. You know what I'm saying? It's not really wide. Like it's proportion to the rest of the shoe. You feel me? Um, my second pair of red bottom is the Golfitos. The Golfito red bottoms. So the Golfito is like a sneaker wingtip. And I'm a fan of sneaker wingtips. I like the little diverse look of sneaker wingtips. There's some YouTubers out there who don't like it. Whatever, man. Honestly, sneaker wingtip is the way to go, man. I've dressed these bad boys. One is about three, four times. I've dressed these bad boys up. Dress these bad boys down because that's what they can do. They can go up or down. They got that. They got that uh, rubber sneaker sole with that nude wingtip finish, and that that that's icy to me. It's extremely icy to me, honestly. I don't know, bro. I'm a, I'm a big fan of these comfort level. Eh, I have insoles in them, but I mean, you know, I've always been a big fan of these golfitos. And then my last shoe, my last shoe, man, my personal favorite. My all blue red bottoms. And these come in the high top as well. They have the high top. I think the high top is a lot more popular. And I may go back to get the high top. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Um, these are the all blue, all blue Louboutins, man. Red sole, all that. These, man, I won these one time. I have one outfit for them. I have one them one time and I wore them with a blue shirt. Blue shirt from Gucci, actually. It was, it was, it was a dope fit. But I just have never worn them again. But I will say. My high top red bottoms, I wear more so often than my low top. My low top, uh, it reminds me of like the Adidas shell toe. And I'm not hating on it. I like it. You know, I definitely like it. And I definitely like the blue. I got the blue for a reason though. I don't know if I would buy a lot of low tops in Louboutin. I prefer the high top to be honest. But this blue stood out to me. Because it's like a really good blue, honestly. This is a blue... I would definitely say, even if you don't get it in Louboutins, get a shoe that's this blue. This blue is cold. This blue is extremely cold. So that wraps up um, this video for today. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I probably will do a question and answer segment for royalty fashion. Definitely so I can you know, get to know you guys and see who's watching. If you guys have any videos you want to see. Feel free to shoot me some ideas or whatnot. Um, this is just a quick snippet video of my shoe, my shoe collection. Um, I'll try to make a really big one, but I have a lot of shoes, so I don't know how long that'll take. Um, I definitely hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video and whatnot, and there will be more to come. Definitely 2019, we'll have a lot of, vi a lot of videos. So definitely look out for that. I appreciate your time. Make sure you like and subscribe and drop a comment. I love good critique. I love bad critique. Anything that you have to say, I'm open to hear. Till next time.